if you're importing an audio file here in GarageBand, but when you drag it into your project, you're only getting the first eight bars. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why and how to fix it. Let's go. So by default, GarageBand sets up with one section of eight bars. Now to change that, you need to tap on this plus button here and you can actually extend the section. So that's one solution here. We can grab this handle, tap there, or tap right in the middle and drag up and you can have as many bars as you like. Once you've done that, when you come back out to here and you go to import that file again, let's just grab this track. You can see there, it'll import the entire track with no problem. We've got plenty of space, but that's a bit clunky. There must be an easier way and there is, let's show you that now. The easier way to do this is to tap on that plus button again and instead of actually increasing your section, just turn on this automatic button. We're just gonna tap that and the automatic slider will come on there. Now, when we go to our import here and we're gonna bring in our file, as soon as we drop this file into a track, look what happens here. If we zoom on out, it's going to create as many bars as are needed for this particular track. Now, keep in mind that this isn't gonna be in time because we haven't set things like the tempo to match up. And if you want tips about importing your songs, getting your tempos matching, and a whole lot more about downloading and importing audio, you can check out the video linked up the top there and down in the description. One final tip that's going to save you a lot of time is that you can actually set your section to be automatic on every new project. Now to do this, we need to go to our GarageBand options that are outside of GarageBand. So we need to slide up here on our iPad or do whatever you need to do on your iPhone to change. And then we're gonna go over to the settings app here. Now over here on the left, if we scroll down, you'll see we've got all of the different apps here. And if we find GarageBand, which should probably be there under the Gs and tap on that one, you'll see that we've got all of these options. Now there's another video showing you the complete options and that'll be linked in the description if you wanna learn more. But the one we're looking for here is this, automatic recording length. If that is off, just tap that one on. And then every time that you create a brand new GarageBand project, when you come in here, instead of this being set to eight bars, you'll see it'll be that eight bars automatic. And that means when you come in here and you go to bring in any project, uh, it's going to create enough space to have all of your audio file there. So you're ready to get back to creating.